I was just meditating on something that I read, I heard on YouTube today um, about the evolution of humanity, the path, the supposed path uh, that we came from, from the realms of the angels, the archangels, and the help, the we getting the fall from Eden and so on. So this was someone's uh, research and theory that uh, provoked such a tumultuous uh, set of sensations in me because a lot of it uh, clashed with what I've been receiving and um, where my research has gotten me and so on and I was overwhelmed and um, I did go in to my guide to my guidance system I went in and I said okay what wh what is this what's going on here what's the truth and I was given a glimpse so the answer came so quickly that it hit me so hard I had to take my headphones off and I couldn't catch it I, I literally couldn't catch what was said all I got was that it all takes place at once time doesn't exist all of it happens at once we are seeing re retroactively we are in the 3D we are living out, we are playing out obviously that which has already happened. Um, but then I still had I still had more questions, so I had to drop what I was doing and I had to uh, I'm still having the most pressing head pounding um it was such a heavy strong download. I came to meditate and I was like, okay, uh, I need clar clarifications, I don't understand. So all I got was, all, were, all roads lead to Rome. The expression, all roads lead to Rome. There are multiple realities all happening. There is no time anywhere. There is just perception of time through our 3D perceptory systems. So obviously there are multiple realities, obviously there are multiple um, truths, all roads lead to Rome, and basically what I was clearly told, whatever floats her goat. So because, so whatever path you're on, whatever belief system you're on, whatever, um, you're drawn to and it, it it makes you fire up and it you believe that's right that's right for you it's right for you you're gonna you got it's you're gonna reach it you're gonna reach all roads lead to rome yes everything she said it happened it has happened um there was very convoluted story of um, Satan, Lucifer, uh, dark forces, light forces, a lot of duality in what she was saying, a lot of um, very convoluted, very complicated and in my experience what I was told is so clear cut, it's so simple and but I could see her conviction and I could see her the truth in her energy so I picked up, that's where my doubt came in because it was clearly her truth. She was not selling bullshit, absolutely not. So that's when I was clearly told all realities did happen simu simultaneously. Uh, yes, retrocausality is actively, ac actively present. Why? Because there is no time per se. So of course all of it happened. Of course we are in the process of living things, living out things that have happened so to speak. It's really hard to translate in English, that's why I get headaches. 
uh, it's really hard to tra translate in words what I'm given because words ha imply things and have limitations on them and they're abstract. So to explain what I was told, it's so, I got the biggest freaking pounding headache. Um, but whatever path you're on, it's right for you. Whatever you believe in, it's right for you. It's going to implicitly take you to the next. You're implicitly going to outgrow it. Um, and whatever she says, it's also true from the reality that she's linked on to. And each individual is a parallel reality. Each individual's belief is a parallel reality. And timeline is neither so nor so. It's spiraling vertically, all happening at once. Oh, easy for me to say. Anyway, I'll stop here, but the, uh, I've got shivers all over my body and i got a headache. So, um, whatever you're doing, it's right for you. Whatever you believe in, keep believing, but keep looking until until you're dead, I'm guessing. Just keep looking, but um, all, le all roads lead to Rome. We're, we're, we're all going to get there, whichever path. It doesn't matter. Um, it's all good. It's all hunky-dory. You're doing the right thing. Oh, another thing that I was given, um, very important. What happens in a day, what happens in a day to you, whether you're doing what you're, suppo what you're supposed to do or not, your outcome depends very much on how you judge that day. If you put a, an energy of haven't done enough, haven't done what I said. If you put an energy of judgment of self, disappointment of self, bashing of self, not enoughness of self, you will spin roll, you will definitely um, snowball onto one reality. If you declare, even if you slept the whole day, even if you um, did nothing that you were supposed to, if you put that as being in your consciousness, if you're absolutely convinced that that's exactly what you were supposed to be doing, not your uh, laundry list, if you just know from your gut, if I did it, that's what was meant to be done. Another reality forms, a completely different reality will snowball from there. So pay very much attention what comes out of you. It's not what it is, it's how you judge what it is. That's what creates realities. And the moment you judge what it is, or you name what it is differently, you literally skip reactions, uh, realities, literally, okay? So it's very, very important that um, you understand the power that you are. It's not what it is, it's what you call what it is. It's not what it is that's evil. It's what you say. When you say it's evil, what you, when you say it's wrong, when you say you did wrong, when you say you should have, could have, would have, when you say that, that's what puts you on to the wrong reality. Just declare the day as perfect. Look at it and call it good. And know that if you did it, it's what was supposed to be done, really. The only supposed to is that which you did, not what your mind put on your laundry list. This was very important.